I'd rather have a grizzly bear right there walking through, you know, this open snowy meadow or something, but that's not happening right now. So I got to take what's being given to me at the time. So when it's a beautiful, magnificent snowstorm and you can't find bears, sometimes you got to photograph what's in front of you. And that happens to be this raven. So he's being very cooperative here. I'm getting full frame headshots. He's got snow on his face. It's dumping. And he just moved a little bit. Hey, buddy. I don't know if the camera can see him. Can you even see him there? He's really close. The light's like perfect for this guy because it's super flat light. It's a little bit dark. So I'm shooting at ISO 16 and 3200 here, trying to get some streaks in the snow. It's like this beautiful, soft, bright, kind of overcast where his uh, feathers are picking up some of those blues and purples and stuff. And of course the wind's blowing his feathers around. The snow's blowing. It's pretty magnificent actually, just for some nice portraits of a raven here. Just kind of waiting for little moments where make sure his head angle's right or he's making an interesting gesture or something. And then of course the snow piling up on his head is really cool. I mean, it's not really piling up, but snowflakes in his, in his black feathers, it works great. So I'm just exposing the background to be as close to pure white as I can get. And that's making him reasonably bright. And then I'll darken it down in post um, but brighter is better when you're shooting at those ISO 1600, ISO 3200. Ah, ah. All right, that was cool. I think I got that shot. He must have had a, a buddy or something that he heard because he flew off, but he kind of did that. Caw -caw, caw -caw. That was a nice imitation, huh? But that caca caca was an awesome gesture, so I hope. I was able to get on the shutter button there quickly enough, and uh, that should be a pretty cool photo. I'll check it out real quick. And did I get it? Yeah. Cool. Sharp as a tack. Crazy sharp. Um, yeah, nice. That'll be cool. I misframed it a little bit, but I'll be able to crop that in a little bit. So that was a fun little distraction out here. Well, looking for some of the big charismatic megafauna. I love finding little stuff like that out here in just gorgeous snowstorm in April. Let's go look for more of that kind of stuff. I love it. Before I leave this scene completely, I was driving away, but uh, I'll, I'll explain my settings there real quick because as I mentioned, I wanted the background to go almost pure white. Um, and then that makes the bird nice and bright, brighter than it is in real life. So I'll blacken that down a little bit in post, but uh, you know, the exposed to the right. So that's what I did. Um, and that will help with noise on uh, shooting at those higher ISO 16. Great, I ran over a stick that's caught in my car. There we go. Very good. No problem. Uh, weird. So anyway, those settings, I was shooting at F11 preferred there. I actually tried some wide open at F6.3 there with a fast shutter speed, like a 1250th of a second that will mostly freeze those snowflakes. And I like to shoot it a bunch of different ways there because 
it's so different depending on how big the flakes are and how fast the wind is blowing of how those snowflakes are actually going to look in the final image. So I'm playing with those settings the whole time I'm shooting there. I'm changing different things because uh, I, I hate to get home and go, ah, oh, I, I, I was shooting it too fast of a shutter speed. Oh, it's too slow of a shutter speed. So I like to kind of vary it in there. And that I was like at F11 there, and that's where I was having to get that ISO up to 1600 or 3200 and then uh, you know 400 500th of a second and i was still getting some nice blur in there so it's it's hard to tell on that little screen what those blurry snowflakes are really going to look like uh, so that's why i shoot it a bunch of different ways when i have an opportunity like that where i have whatever two minutes with that bird and uh, i have the time to try those different settings so i can kind of dial in exactly what looks great uh, when I get it on the big screen versus trying to decide what those blurry snowflakes look like on the little tiny screen. So anyway, I was from f6.3 to f11, ISO 800 to ISO 3200, and uh, just looking for kind of the, the most aesthetically pleasing blurry snowflakes that I could get. And that is totally subjective. So you might not like the blur that I like and vice versa. So, um, but anyway, that's, that's kind of how I approach something like that, where I want to, I want to try different things and make sure I'm getting the aesthetic that I want. And luckily that particular subject was a wonderful subject, not only in the environment and the bird itself, and, but the, uh, the background, like everything was really nice. And it was cooperative in the sense that it let me be right next to it for a period of a couple of minutes so I can make those adjustments. So that's fun. I, I love doing little things like that. I'd rather have a grizzly bear right there walking through, you know, this open snowy meadow or something, but that's not happening right now. So I got to take what's being given to me at the time. Okay, so I'm going to keep cruising around and looking for other stuff. I hope I find some more, but if I don't, um, at least I know I'm going home with some good images from that raven today. And that is always a great sign because I still have two more hours of light yet uh, to photograph this afternoon. So it's very promising. Thanks, thanks for listening to me ramble there. Okay, now I'm waiting on a fox. He's about 100, 120 yards out. And in the snow there, I'll shoot a little video of him so you can see. He's a million miles away. Well, not a million miles, obviously, but... doing that head tilty thing where he hears something under the snow. Oh, here he goes, maybe. Do it. Do it. Oh, it's so close. The snow is beautiful too. Do it, buddy, do it. Nice. Oh, he bailed at the last second. He did the jump, but he bailed. Well, that was cool. At least I got that on video. But he's moving sideways. He's not coming any closer at the moment. Darn it.
Okay, Fox has vanished and never came closer. So, fun to watch. A couple of unsuccessful hunts there, but I'm gonna move on. See if there's anything else that wants to be photographed this afternoon, or maybe the uh, mountains will clear up and we'll get some dramatic stuff happening. It looks like it's kind of happening up there. Oh, yeah. Cheers. I just whipped up dinner. It's a... Uh, chicken corn chowder, and it's going to be delicious. It's like perfect for a cool April evening. 32 degrees currently. And uh, that'll be it for today. End of the video. And uh, thanks again for watching. Really appreciate it. A couple of things. Uh, my email list. If you haven't uh, signed up for my email list yet on my website, um, and you're interested, go do that. I do. I announce my workshops on there, and I like do some like book recommendations and product recommendations and write an occasional short story or something. Anyway, it's just a little different uh, than the YouTube videos. But uh, anyway, go on there and join that. If you want to uh, be a part of that, that'd be awesome. And workshops, speaking of workshops, I now have live on my website Two new workshops, uh, group workshops. One of them is Yellowstone Winter Workshop for 2021. So that's in January. Uh, and that'll be a week in Yellowstone. Be awesome. And the other one is Africa 2021. So that's February. We're doing two trips. You can do them back to back and make it one long trip. We're doing a 10 day trip in Kenya and a 10 day trip in Tanzania. Uh, obviously, Sue and I are going to be there for the whole time, and hopefully some of you fine people will join us for that trip as well. It's going to be awesome. Africa is amazing. And uh, so anyway, those are on my email list. Uh, they're on my website. They are announced on my email list, but uh, they're on my website now. So uh, if you're interested in those, then uh, go check them out and get in touch with me. So I'd love to have uh, some of my YouTube viewers join on those. So Anyway, thanks for listening to that stuff. Uh, appreciate you watching the videos and subscribing and all the kind comments and the constructive criticisms and all that stuff. So cheers to you. Have a great night. I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Mmm, corn chowder. Mmm. <laughs> see ya.